broke barriers as the first Latina VJ on MTV. She also helped turn the House of Style into a global success. She's a model, she's an actress, she's a true fashion fashionista, and she is a friend to this show. Please welcome Daisy Fuentes. <laughs> She loves my ombre. I'm saying I love yours. You open the fashion magazines. They say ombre is over. It's, I say uh, ombre. It's everything. Uh, uh it is everything. Yeah. And you're, that's your natural hair. It's a little extreme right now, but I'm, I'm going to totally tone it down. But, but you we, know, you're, you get addicted to the blonde. You do. Yeah. You do, but you don't want to commit, so you keep it brown up top. Yeah. And, but you always, you, all your career, you've had good hair. Thank uh, you. Well. And, and, no, it's good. Even in the I 80s, my we remember. Yeah. You don't, know we got our secrets. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> so the, there was a rumor that you're pregnant, but clearly you're not um, pregnant. Listen, if I would have had a child, every time they said I was pregnant, I'd have a litter by now. I'd have like 13 <laughs> kids. But apparently every time I have like a slice of pizza and I gain five pounds, you're I'm Latina. pregnant. You're Latina. Yeah. So, so things, <laughs> plus you came, you came along in an era where models were not bone thin like some of the girls today. You know, yeah. you came on during Cindy and, yeah. and Claudia and you and all you girls were tall, beautiful, um, with a little meat on your bones. Yeah, I mean, I think the supermodels back in the day, you know, they walked into a room and they were not only statuesque, but you, you know, you could tell they were models. And yeah, I mean, models have always been on the thin side because it's fashion and clothes just look better that way. Yes. But yeah, it was a whole different ball game. Now the picture right there that we're showing, that was Cindy in the middle, and then you see Daisy, and on the other side, Rebecca Romaine. And Cindy was the original host of House of Style yeah. on MTV. Mm -hmm. And then later yeah, on it was, it was you. was me and then Rebecca. Yeah, and then Rebecca. Yeah. Those were the days, Those man. Were the days. Those were the days when you turned on shows like House of Style to get the yeah. fashion. Now you can open any blog, any yeah. fashion police, any any magazine. And yeah. we like, as fashion people, I guess we like all those different opinions. Yeah. But it doesn't drive business to just one show like it did back in the day. Well, it was, it was, the show was so cool because there was no other way to get behind the scenes. Right. To get backstage with the designers. It was the only show that was doing that. You couldn't just, you know, go on any blog, like yeah. you said, or any internet site and see everything as it's happening. Or Twitter. Right now there were pictures. I, I just had a show on Fashion Week for my line. And there were pictures, uh, pictures up on Twitter before the show even started. So, you know, it's, it's that quick these days. Yeah. So, back in the day, it really was where people went to to get their fashion news. And we did, really did break the trend. Those were the good old days. Yeah. So, um, the House of Style is relaunching it. Yeah. Uh, they're relaunching it. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. yeah. And I, I understand it's not going to be on MTV. It's going to be on... It's going to be on the internet, the internet. And I'm curious to see how they're going to do it. You know, because everything, like we said, there's so much information. Yeah. Uh, they got to keep it fresh. They've got to do something that everybody else isn't doing. And I, I think they'll, they'll do it. You know, MTV's always been really good with the whole groundbreaking and yeah. being at the forefront of well, everything. Well, they brought so. us you. Well... And then... And then... No. You. <laughs> you know... You know... First a VJ, then that's a Jersey girl, right? uh, Cuban roots. <laughs> you call your, you call your home LA now? Yeah, I think LA is home. I've been there for so long, and I'm just comfortable there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and your line at Kohl's continues to do well. You know, I'm working the mogul empire thing, um, thanks to you all who love it. I love seeing the women come up to me wearing my fashions, and, and is girls this... pulling their pants down to show me the tag. Yeah, I'm wearing you. Is this I a Daisy it. that you have on? Right now, no, I'm not wearing anything because I came on your show last minute. I didn't prepare for it. Yeah. So I, I had very limited clothes. I didn't bring anything. But you wear your own clothes a lot, I heard. What's the We've point? talked about that before. Yeah. What's the point in having yeah. a line? And I will yeah, tell. What's the point of having. You know, I, I have a, a, an area in my house which I call like the showroom in my house. It's in my office, just outside the garage. Yes. And all my friends and family know where I keep the stuff. So when they come over, they, they head right they there. And then yeah. when I'm looking for something to wear on camera or to wear out, something cute, I forget. I thought I had it there, yeah. but it's all gone. Okay, you guys. Um, you see, she embraced being a mogul, but I must tell you, you know, we did a little, just, just to put, let, put it into perspective. 
Daisy was the first um, Latina in Coles and one of the first celebrities to have a line in Coles. And you've been yeah. there for what, about 10 years now? Yeah, I actually was, yeah. 10 years next year. And, and you're, you're a line and you are worth like $160 million. What? I, what? <laughs> Nonsense. No, you know what, I'm very fortunate. Good it's going you, on Daisy. 10 years next year. We yeah. work really hard, but I'm really enjoying it. Yes. I'm adding categories slowly, growing the brand. And it's something that I thought was gonna start out as a hobby and has turned out, fortunately, into a huge business. Big giant but deal. I'm just enjoying it. How's I, your I, love life? Because every time we talk, like you, you go through stuff. You were engaged at one point, and then you're not. You weren't really engaged, and you had a boyfriend. Then not. Isn't that what keeps life going? Yes. <laughs> no. Nope. I'm good. No. You're good. You know, I'm good. I'm. I'm having fun. Yeah. Yeah. No. And no. and counting your money, and doing well, and doing you know, well. I like giving the money away. No, that's but, the but, fun part of the money. But let's talk about the other side of Daisy the mogul. She now has a new wig line. Yes. I, you know, as we're preparing all this, I couldn't wait to come on your show because I know that this is your deal. I know you love Wigs. this. You get it. Yes. You just get it. Yes. Okay, so now, look, uh, ladies in the audience, the first four ladies right here, they're all wearing uh, wigs from Daisy's wig line. How cute are they? Um, the wigs are really cute. Uh, and you also have bangs. because Yeah, you know, bangs I, wear, are... I wear the bangs a lot. They, I have oh, to put... she hides things in the couch, too. <laughs> These are not my color. But I wear these all the time. Yes. Because, you know, I feel like I've been growing out my bangs my entire life. I know, right? And so now I don't, I, you know, I don't have to. I could, I just clip them on, put my hair back whenever I'm having, you know, not it's, such a good hair day. It, it works every time. It's really good. And I also wear a lot. It's, it's a pony, a pony fall fo yeah. that opens up and also blends into your hair, so it can add volume and a little length, or it can work as a pony. It's got like a little scrunchy um, tie on it. Yeah, we love hair fakery, and we love yeah. a good, we, we love good clothes for less. And thank yeah. you so much for coming by. Stacey Fuentes, everybody. Her new wig line is called, uh, is called Wow, yeah. and it's available exclusively at wigs.com. Keep it here. Up next, Shape Magazine is going to join us for their annual Beauty Award winners. Keep it here.